What's up everybody, welcome back to Bond's Box. Today we are unboxing the Far Cry 6 Collector's Edition with the help of Aloy here. Uh, um, so yeah, this was exclusive uh, to the Ubisoft store. Um, it was available on all platforms. I think it's still available at least here in the UK. Um, and yeah, I mean it's out today, November, it's October 7th. Uh, and yeah, so we, I think we should get into it. What do you think? So, I mean, right off the bat, we have Cat. I mean, we have a game in this hilariously big case for it, so it would sit in the box correctly. But, I mean, that just came with the... Uh, the game in it, which uh, comes with the game season pass and the ultimate pack, so it's the ultimate edition of the game. And as we can see, the season pass comes with the uh, Become the Villain, Blood Dragon, uh, Blood Dragon set, um, and some other stuff. We'll, we'll get into that in a minute once we start getting this box out the way. In this gigantic plastic bag. Why are you in the bag? Hmm? Come on. She wants to go kill the bag. Uh, I don't know where I put my knife. Oh, this one's just gonna come right off. That works. So, as you can tell from the box, we're gonna be getting a flamethrower in here. All sorts of warnings on the store page about make sure you assemble it, make sure you don't threaten anybody with it, make sure you have the orange tip attached to the you have a problem with that plastic bag over there? I think she is. I thought she wanted was the plastic bag. And cardboard that came on top of it in the box. So, inside it is it's kind of. I'm just gonna get everything out because, again, face is not my friend here. Oops. Uh, this. Ooh. I'm going to unpack everything because I do not have the space at all for this. This is the flamethrower stuff. I'm going to take this away just for now. Wow. Check out the rest of it. Right. So we've got a Libertad Gorilla Far Cry 6. And this is an art book. Got a Far Cry 6 blueprint for the or assembly instruction for the uh, flamethrower. High end replica of Toasted Ore, the flamethrower replica from the game. Seven parts to be assembled. This is not a toy, but it's not functional. We have. Are these stickers? I think these are stickers. Of various logos, I guess, from the game or 
through them. So, quite a few stickers there. But, uh, into sticking stuff, two things. Um, got the selected game soundtrack, this cardboard sleeve. With 17 tracks on it. Have a keyring of the good boy. The main marketing material because they know how to get people. <laughs> Rizzo. Focus really isn't playing happy with me. Oh, Aloy's back. And oh no, finally we have steelbook for the game. Second. Oh, don't bat around my little keyring. Very similar, it looks like to Far Cry 5, I think it was, where it's got like a map and then. Here's the map. No, no, no. On the back, we've got kind of a poster, but along with some ads for the fictional island. Hold this bit up. Check out the game real quick. Get into it. Come on. The PlayStation games, they have that little, like, strip that you can tear to get into stuff easier. Right. Already been through uh, contents on the back. Inside we've got my code for the stuff. Stuff you can buy additionally if you would like. And the disc for the game. Not much to really show with that. And then we got the steel book. On the front we've got this kind of uh collage, I guess. Kind of a movie poster look almost of uh characters I guess from the game. Um we do have the spine. Title on the spine and it is the correct way. Up, so thumbs up Ubisoft, finally. Back, pretty plain with this logo of whatever inside. Eh, that could have been nicer. Kind of the sepia looking picture of like the street of Yara, I guess. Um, I, I just think it could have been a much nicer colorful picture on the inside, but there we go. Still pretty decent. So that is the steelbook. I mean, Far Cry 5 had the title on the spine and it was upside down, so uh, good job Ubisoft for making sure it was the right way this time. Okay. Leaves us with one project left to do. Jesus. Let's take the pieces out. That's the stand. Hey, you know, you gotta fill this up with uh I wouldn't I would highly advise against it, but it's a container you could uh 
put some liquid in, I guess. Jesus, this is like actual, this is actual rubber on the hose. Here's the nozzle with the orange tip that they uh, basically tell you do not remove that because that indicates that it's a fake weapon, real one. So, where did those instructions go? So this is piece one. Goes into piece two somehow. Silica gel. How does this attach onto this? Uh, that way. There we go. Okay. And it backwards. And throwing everything around. Butterfingers. I just force this in. Force into that uh, five is this piece. It goes into there some. Now, somewhere. That's obviously the... Because... Go in just like that. That doesn't seem right because this opens too easily. Then, does this open? This does not open. Instructions could have been clearer here. And... It looks like it should be that, but this doesn't lock, so it's just flapping around. Oh, but I guess once the tube's in there, it, that'll stop it from... There we go. Time to come together. Right. This pipe attaches to... I guess. Oh, I should have. Damn it. Alright. This needs to come through here onto this. Here. Connecting this onto this piece. Alright, I think I finally got that on. Now we put this piece on. It's in there. Goes in there. But we need it to go in with this one. I had it on once. Alright. 
Maybe if I... This one's quite lovely. I don't like that. Right, that is that part then we've got P6, 7 so 7 is this part 6 is this part Oh, is this? Oh, it still works like that. So I think this would be easier if we did this second. <laughs> We're just failing at everything. Uh, so this wants to clip onto this. Again, it looks like I might take some force. through there, screw onto that again, starting to come together, does that attach to anything on this side or is this strictly just attached, oh boy, okay, okay, let's see if we can figure this out. Plastic that needed to align that part goes on to here. <laughs> and then there was a loose wire hanging around somewhere. Did we get did we figure out what that was for? I snapped it off. Oh here it is. I see this piece. No, don't chew that. No. This piece. This wire is going to plug right into this handle. And I think that's it. That is the Far Cry 6 Collector's Edition flamethrower. Hat not included. Need to see this uh, figure here works. Around here works. So it is fully, fully functional. No, don't chew it. And then that will sit nicely on here, yeah, hopefully. No. That's the Far Cry 6 Collector's Edition, so a quick recap. Um, I have no idea how this goes on the stand. Let me know in the comments below if you know how to put this on the stand, because it is lost on me, apparently. I don't know. Anyway. So we got the you got the uh you got the flamethrower. You got the blueprint with the instructions that were a little vague for my taste. We got the steel book. Go ahead and throw this disc in here for myself. That codes and stuff, the ultimate edition, that content. That plastic case. No. 
got the map, which I'm not going to open again, but you saw it earlier. Check the timestamp if you skipped ahead. Uh, we've got the stickers. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ten stickers. Soundtrack selection. No! Don't chew things. I know you're teething. Go to chew your, go chew your stuff. You got the uh, the warning for uh, the flamethrower. And then you got this art book, A4 size, I think. So yeah, thanks again everybody for stopping by. I apologize for how long that took me to assemble. Um, I, I probably have cut parts of that out because I was struggling to get pieces to fit. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's really cool looking. It looks really nice. I mean, also this is the main expense of the addition. It is made of plastic. It's all plastic. This part is rubber, it feels like. This part does feel like rubber. The rest of it feels very much like plastic. Um, and then, yeah. Steelbook is nice and shiny. If you like shiny steelbooks, this one is definitely you can see glossy. And then, uh, so yeah, thanks again. Make sure to give me that thumbs up if you did enjoy the video. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see some more content. We're getting pretty close to 10,000 subscribers now, which is which is crazy to me. So uh, thanks everybody that's supported the channel so far. Um, and uh, we will. I do have another Far Cry 6 unboxing to do. Might have already come out, might come out after this. I'm not sure on the order I'm going to release these, but that is uh, how it stands right now. Um, so yeah, I'll leave you guys to check out this photo reel of uh, all this stuff, close-ups and stuff. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all staying safe. Hope you're all having a great day. I'll see you next time.